And welcome back. In the last section, we talked about the World Wide Web and the internet and what the differences were. And then I promised you that we'll finally talk about some HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I've been vaguely referencing these files and just told you that they're simple text files for now, but what are they specifically? Well, initially, if you remember, we had Tim Berners-Lee who created the very first website. And this website uses HTML. And HTML, that's the first file over here, is a way for us to just write text on website. And these texts on websites can also have these things called hyperlinks that can link to other parts of the website. So that's what happened in 1991. 1991, we had a way for us to share documents. And this can link to another website, another file, another research paper. But as you can see, it wasn't the prettiest. So in 1995, 1996, two technologies came into being. One was CSS and one is JavaScript. Now, what did they allow you to do? Well, CSS solved the problem of, well, this is nice and all, but it wouldn't be nice if we had some visual aspects. We can toy around with this website and make it look pretty. And then JavaScript said, well, you know, ideally we'll be able to have something like this website where, you know, I can click over here, I can shop now, I can put in my credit card and get these fancy slippers and I can do all this interactive things with my website. So let's play around with this and try and incorporate from this basic HTML file to add some CSS and JavaScript to this page. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go into View, Developer, and Developer Tools. So you might remember this from our previous lessons. So once you click on that, you'll get this pop up at the bottom of the screen. For some of you, it might be on the right side, but uh, it doesn't matter. You'll get both things. And we've seen this before. And if you look at the top over here, it says HTML. And that's it. HTML is this. It's this file that has this weird syntax that describes how this web page should look in text. So you can see over here, it says the World Wide Web. These are just text. On the right side over here, you'll see something called styles. So styles will actually let you add styles to the website, as the name suggests. And that's what CSS is. If we click on HTML here, and actually, let's click on body. Without knowing any CSS or anything, if we define something like color, semicolon, and then let's go blue, it changes the text color to blue. Chrome lets you play around with websites and actually injects some CSS into this HTML. Without knowing any CSS, we can kind of play around, type in a letter, and it will have a drop down. So let's see over here if we can do background color. Let's make it. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to do red. Make the website really, really, well, frankly, pretty ugly. But that's CSS right here. We've just added some CSS to this basic website. Let's turn this red color off because it is not pretty. OK, so HTML, text and links, CSS, pretty colors. Now, how can we add some JavaScript? So remember, we have three files over here. JavaScript came along and said, these are great. You know, we have these beautiful text websites that link to other pages. And we have CSS that can make websites really, really pretty. But would it be nice to have some interactivity, to have drop down menus to make websites like they are now, interactive? We can actually do this again with the developer tools. If you click on console over here, without knowing any bit of JavaScript, for now, we're just going to show you a simple JavaScript line. And we're going to type in alert and let's say, hi there, exclamation marks. And I press enter. And look at that. We just made the very first website ever made interactive with JavaScript. Now, obviously, this doesn't do anything, but hopefully, this shows you where we were before in 1991 to where we are now. Websites that are interactive, full of JavaScript, CSS, 
and of course, HTML. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.